Welcome to Labor Costing. Labor cost is generally the significant element of cost after the material cost in any organization. So why it is so significant? It's not only because it is very high in the modern organizations, but it also has got certain peculiar characteristics which other elements of cost do not have. So if you want to be a good cost accountant, you must understand the special features of labor cost because the most important of which is that there is almost no limit to increase or no limit to the increase of output of this most important and wonderful factor of production that is labor. So let's uh, get started with this uh, labor cost. First of all, we have to classify the labor cost into two categories that is labor cost can be classified into two categories one is a direct labor cost and the other one is indirect labor cost so what is direct labor cost Direct labor cost is the cost that is expended or incurred on production of a product and it can be easily identified and allocated to a cost unit. That is say this cost is incurred on a specific job or it is incurred on a specific work order or it is incurred on a specific unit of a product, right? So direct cost is something which can be easily identified and allocated to a cost unit then what is indirect cost indirect cost is a labor cost that is expended on the wages of workmen who are not directly engaged in the production process and it cannot be easily identified with a cost unit so indirect labor cost is a cost that is incurred on wages of workmen who are not engaged in the production process so I'll write this who are not engaged in the production process so if wages is paid to them then that wages will be called as indirect cost right so having seen what is direct labor cost and indirect labor cost let us also understand what is the difference between these two that will take it in the next session let us discuss about the difference between the direct labor cost and indirect labor cost. So the first difference is that the direct labor cost is something which is incurred on payment of the labor who are directly engaged in the production process. That is they are engaged in the production process whereas indirect labor cost is a cost which is incurred for payment of labor on laborers who are not directly, I mean who are not directly engaged in the production process. So the first difference comes in engagement, whether you are engaged or not engaged and if you are engaged in the production process, it comes under direct and if you are not engaged, your cost comes under indirect. The second difference is going to be identification. Direct labor cost can be easily identified and it can be easily allocated with the cost unit. Whereas indirect labor cost cannot be identified with uh, any particular cost unit or cost center. What we have to do is we have to only apportion this indirect labor cost. Okay. The third difference comes with the changes. See the direct labor cost will vary with volume of production and it will have positive relationship with volume. So if volume increases this cost can go up and if volume comes down and if the company believes that they should reduce the laborers then this cost can also come down. So the direct labor cost will vary according to the change in the volume of production whereas this indirect labor cost will not vary with change in the volume of production. So these three are the differences between the direct and indirect labor cost. Number one is engagement. I mean, 
they are directly engaged in the production whereas indirect they are not engaged number two is identification it can be identified with a cause center or unit whereas indirect cannot be identified it has to be apportioned and the third is direct labor cost will vary with the volume of production whereas indirect labor cost will not vary in this session let us discuss about labor cost control see what we have to understand is labor cost are associated with human beings so if you want to control the labor cost then you should understand the human behavior labor cost control means controlling the cost incurred on labor that is exercising the control over the cost incurred on labor so control over the labor cost does not mean or does not imply you should reduce the wage bill size no that is not labor cost control and it also does not imply that wages of each worker should be kept at as low as possible no then what is the aim of labor cost control the aim of labor cost control should be to keep the wage cost per unit that is wages per unit as low as possible and how this can be achieved this can only be achieved by giving the workers optimum wages and then harnessing their energies to optimize the output so a well motivated team of workers can bring many wonders so each con concern should take efforts to raise the productivity of the labor so the efforts for the control of labor cost should begin from very beginning of the organization and there should be concerted effort by all departments to control the wages so in a larger organization there will be various departments who will be interested with the task of controlling the labor cost so what are those departments let's see one by 